right here live inside VP Records, 170-21 Jamaica Avenue, Queens, New York, inside with Jam Radio, 93.5 FM, VP Records, miles ahead in reggae and soca music. And today is the actual release date. First of all, let me say congratulations on the release Bless of the brand new CD. Bless you. Um, as you can see from, from the turnout, a lot of people are excited about this new project. Yeah, thanks. Um, we're getting lots of requests on the radio. We're also getting lots of requests to, to, to have you live on the radio. So this is a, a beautiful opportunity for yeah. us to have you live here in Jamaica, Queens. And I just want to ask you a question. Why did you choose to do your release in the heart of Jamaica, Queens, and what we call the capital of reggae music, where reggae music starts at VP Records. Well, to me, this is the mecca of reggae music, and uh, I wanted to come through the mecca, lay my paws down, meet the people who made this thing happen, touch bases with the public, and let them know that I really love reggae music, and why not come to the epicenter when you're trying to get off? You only get one chance to make your first impression. Uh -huh. So I wanted to come to the best place on the planet, and that's BP Records. Can you dig that? Wow. Did he make a good impression, people? <laughs> now, um, when, 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 when I first heard that you were doing a, a reggae album, and then, of course, we heard about the new name, uh, Snoop Lion, I said to myself, well, one thing for sure, Snoop is not doing this for the money, because he don't need the money. <laughs> he well, might want the money, but he don't need the money. Exactly. So then I started to look at, um, you know, your background and, and, and realizing that you grew up in neighborhoods where you were hearing reggae music played all the time. Yes, sir. And now you decided that this is what you wanted to do. Um, some of the people you worked with on the project. I work with Angela Hunt. She's an awesome writer. I work with uh, my main man, Drake, Diplo, Major Laser. Buster Bus came through and got down for me. Chris Brown sh shed, a, uh, shed a verse for me. Uh -huh. T.I., uh, Mr. Vegas, Kali Buzz. I mean, I mean, I had the best of the best. I mean, anybody that I asked, and everybody that I asked came through and did what they did for me. It was a great project. 5 FM Live on Irie Jam Radio. Irie. I've, got, I've got a couple of my colleagues here that want to ask a few questions. Irie too. Jam so Radio. So I'm kind of spreading the love. Huh? Spread the love. <laughs> Pass the microphone. Positive vibration. Snoop. Lion. No imitation. Not at all. <laughs> yeah, girl. First, I must say, how are you, sir? I am doing lovely. Very how are you nice doing? to Beautiful. meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you. Very girl. nice to meet you. My I... Nubian queen. Yes, man. Me keep it nice and natural. <laughs> yeah, girl. yeah. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, I had the pleasure of listening to the 16 track album. Yes. And I must say to you that I, I absolutely love every song on there, mainly wow. because it is all positive thank you like you kept it positive and it almost felt like you were writing letters to our younger generation yeah definitely. and and i also you know i did a little research on oh, you, you did you yeah. had to that's right i did a little research on you and i saw that you have the syfl yeah that's the snoop that's your football league that you started for young young men mm -hmm. and women possibly yeah, cheerleaders as well right right now with with all your your positive vibrations and cultural songs on the record, you still had party joints on there because yeah. I mean it's Snoop Lion. Yes, I should. And my favorite song is Fruit Juice. Yeah, Fruit Juice. Number one, you know me can't lose. In the my garden, me pick the fruit that me choose. Fruit Juice. <laughs> <laughs> my class, you know me can't lose. Take away my worries, my stress, and my blues. <laughs> no. Yo, that's what I'm saying. That that was the track that jumped out to me as a party track. How was it working with Mr. Vegas on, on Man, Fruit Juice? Man, I mean, he came with it. You know, when you're in the studio with a guy like that, he makes you want to come with it. So, you know, just being accepted by the whole reggae world and being able to call on, you know, guys who really know how to do it, it made me feel real good about the project. And I'm just so anxious to see how people going to feel about it. All right, well, you know what? Dub Master Flex, hear me about Dub Master Flex. I want it. I want it for me. What did you just Dub do? Dub Master, Dub Master Chris. Yeah. Yeah, Flex, right? That's all that is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Give it the fruit juice. Give it the fruit juice, Dub Master Chris. Yeah. All right, now, now, now. Let me tell you something. The fruit juice is a big bad tune. Big big tune. I want to say big bad tune, Snow. Yeah, man. When we in Jamaica say big bad tune, bad, I will put, bad, uh, uh, you know what I mean, the finger up in that. Big tune. 
So I'm gonna play Fruit Juice. Fruit yeah, Juice. And then I'm gonna play my favorite song. Yeah, man. From the album. But can you see that song there? Uh, yeah, yeah, trust me, it's a serious tune. So this one is Fruit Juice, brand new from the album Reincarnated. It's Irish Jam Radio 93.5 FM live from VP Records, live with Snoop Lion. You see what I mean? Yesterday, and we don't need no negative to get the best of me. Yeah, 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 yeah. The DMO can get to me or give a girl a VP Records is getting real crazy right now. Everybody wants a photograph. Everybody wants an autograph. Snoop Lion is in the building. Like taking crazy. pictures, taking pictures, making his fans feel very, very comfortable. Yeah. I like, I like how he he's dealing with his fans. You know what I mean? He's very oh, personable. Yeah. Oh, he's yeah. very, very personable. Oh yeah. Cause... I'm talking, but I'm talking about it. And I'm sitting right next to him, by the way, for all of those who are listening. I'm talking about him, and I'm sitting right next to him. Yeah, girl, I love the people <laughs> that love me. <laughs> you know, I got one more question for you. Say it, baby. Why did you choose to give your fans Snoop Lion right now in your career? He's well, 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 basically, I felt like I've done enough work for Snoop Dogg to where they have enough material to last him for the next 20, 30 years. Yeah. I wanted to be able to say something, and, and reggae music gives me a chance to speak on the issues and views that I've always wanted to speak on and come from the heart and just really be fun with it and have fun singing and doing what I've always wanted to do. Wow. Wow. That's serious. Yes, that is deep. And that's perfect because this album represents that reincarnated the master. Yeah, man. All right, now, now, Snoop, I got to ask you one question that over the years I've always wanted to ask Snoop, who is now Snoop Lion. Now, Snoop, yeah, first of all, let me say a big respect. Bless up. Yes, yes. Every respect, time respect Bridget. On the ones and twos. All right, now, Snoop. What's your favorite part of reggae music, man? Because I know you fell in love with reggae music, and I know you've been to dances. When you're in the Jamaica, you went to a couple dances, you got that real hardcore Jamaican vibe. What's your favorite element of reggae music? My favorite element of reggae music is the spirit. Yeah. Because the spirit, once it get in you, you can't get it out you. And right. that's more important than any element because when you're really making good reggae music and you're making it from the heart and the soul, yeah. the music has a spirit to it that travels across the whole world and it's global and it's international and it feels good to everybody. Well, I got to tell you, Snoop, that's why I got to tip my hat to you because yeah. there's one of the songs on the album, Here Comes the King. I got to ask what was the inspiration because, like you said, the spirit of the music when it gets in you that's it, it it's a rap it, it, it takes control so here comes the king is a song that's real serious on the album and i just gotta ask did you write that one here in the states did you write that one in jamaica uh where you wrote that song where, where was the inspiration where did it come from that inspiration came from jamaica we was okay. actually um at tough gong studio yeah and they had dance hall jam sessions going on outside while yeah. we was recording right and it was banging so hard it was like, <laughs> you know what i'm saying yeah. you know the emotion of it all with the speakers and the system and the live action so yeah it was brought about by that energy, you know, and I've always felt like I was the king of the West Coast when it came to rapping. Oh, take yeah. Take that king title with me into this reggae world, and here comes the king. Here I come, my stepping in the dime. Oh. Here I come, my stepping in the dime. Oh, Posted up the wall, here in Amistad. Posted 
up the wall here in Amistad. Right. We never fail, we only shine with brilliance. Right. One king, one faith, one religion. Right. And if you love me, come and join my revolution. Right. One king, one faith, one religion. Right. And if you love me, come and join my revolution. Oh, you me? Yeah. Bad, yeah. Bad, drop it down, Papa. Here right. comes the king. Right. Brand new music is Ira Jam Radio broadcasting live. VP Records 170 21, Jamaica Avenue, Queens. Snoop Long with a brand new album reincarnated. Yes, I am. Oh, the song Tired of the Running. Really? Yeah, yeah man. Because I'm tired of running from the law. I've been doing <laughs> Bad, 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 bad. Uh, and, and that one tired of the running, yeah, man. it features Akon. Yeah, man. Yep. Yeah, a convict. Yeah, wow. Man. Convict oh, wow. music. Yeah, wow. wow. Convict music. Tired, yeah. Of yeah. tired of the running, man. I'm trying to do right right now. I don't want to do no more wrong. <laughs> All right. So let's give the Tri State a taste of Tired of the Running from the album Reincarnated. It's Snoop Lion with a brand new album. He's live inside VP Records right now. And everybody lining up once again to get a photograph, get an autograph, whatever you're doing. Let's take it easy with Snoop. I can't believe I'm killing my community. If you know how far I came, I can't This one featuring Akon the convict. Tired of running. Yes, I am. All from the brand new album Reincarnated. This is Ivory Jam. We play the hits before they happen, trust me. We're live from VP Records this afternoon, 170 21, Jamaica Avenue at the retail superstore. You can get your reincarnated album right now, get it autographed, only $16.99. Only while Snoop is in the building. Gonna kick it back to the master controls to take a quick commercial break. Yo, Snoop! Yes, sir. Yo, Snoop! Yeah, man. You see this part of this record? Hold it, hold it, hold it. Rewind! <laughs> Snoop, I also would like to acknowledge wow. and ask you if it was intentional. I noticed wow. the, the uh, complete album is PG. Wow. It's PG. Yeah. So children yeah. can definitely appreciate it. Yeah. Was that intentional, sir? It was, it was very intentional because I wanted a record that grandma can listen to, the babies can listen to, that right. we can listen to. I never made a record like that. I've always, you know, had explicit lyrics and really didn't have no concern, but I want the whole family to enjoy this record right here. This is one of those records that you can play at a picnic, at a yeah. family gathering. It's just one of those great records that feels good to the whole house. Nice. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Now, Snoop, you know, I also got to ask you, when are you going to bless us in New York City with a live performance, Snoop? And he's still, he's still, he's, he's, he's still, oh, you know, you know I'm, I'm stuck to it like I know how to do it. I mean, I'm going to come back to the Big Apple and do a Snoop Lion show. Actually, it's going to be Lion Fest, where I do a little bit of regular, a little bit of my old school rap. So I mix and match and make it like, like that. I like that. It's nasty. Lion Fest. <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> what? Yeah, man. And we're going to do it live, so I'm going to come here, you know, broadcast it live and let y'all come on backstage. And we probably broadcast the show live. That way it'll be real fly. We'll wow. do it live. On the air. I like yep, that. Yeah. Yep, yep. Now, now, Snoop. Let me let me just tell you this, in case you don't know, right? Yeah, man. This is Ivory Jam Radio. We're celebrating 20 years. And doing... guess what? I'm celebrating 20 years. My first album. Oh. Uh, hey, 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 So we can celebrate together. You know All right. What I mean? Now, now we also Snoop do the biggest reggae Caribbean event in the New York Tri-State area. It's called Irish Jamboree. And I gotta tell you, Snoop, it would be a good look, Snoop, 
What time? What time of the year does, does this that's, concert that's, happen? That's 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 Labor Day weekend, September first weekend in September. That's the Caribbean weekend. Yep. You know they got the big parade. Eastern September Parkway parade, year, boss. and it's gonna be so big as usual. That might can happen. I'm gonna check my schedule on my Rolodex and see if I can put that in effect. <laughs> <laughs> Snoop, it's gonna be a good look. Snoop. I already know, man. I, I did. I did last year. I did Caravana in Toronto last right. year for the first time, and I mean, I did a performance there before the record was out, and we debuted my movie there, and it, it went off well. So I'd love to do something like what y'all talking about, especially considering y'all been down for 20 years. 20 I've been down years. for 20 years. It's a great celebration. Oh yeah, definitely. And congratulations on that. I didn't realize, Snoop. Yeah, 1993 is when Doggy Style came out. That was yeah. my first wow. record. And, and and obviously you've had so many highlights in your career. Yes, sir. And I mean, I gotta ask, what what's been like the biggest thing that sticks in your mind over 20 years of recording? I mean, what's like one of the highlight moments of your career? Probably having my first son. You know, really. Yeah, man, because... Not the platinum records, nah, none of that. Nah, my baby boy, you know what I'm saying? When, wow. when he was born, it's like it just, you know, it changed me. It made me want to, you know, be a father and be a better man. So he was the most important part of my career. Family. Family yeah. first. Yeah. Yeah, respect. Would you, would you say your family uh, influenced you somewhat to bring Snoop Lion forward? Oh, yeah, yeah, because I was running around the house frustrated and mad, and now that I found this lion... I've been happy, it's been a beautiful vibe, it's been passing on into the house, it's been spreading around, so information in my mind. My son is getting more wiser and hip to it, he's educating me. You know, my youngest son doing good in football, my daughter's singing, so it's spread out, you know what I'm saying? It's starting to work for the benefit of the better, and I know that this is making me a better person. Wow, that's big, man. Wow. So, Snoop, does that mean that we're not going to hear any more Snoop Dogg rap records? Nick, is you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> just check it, Snoop. We're just checking, cause just I don't, check it. I'm sure those fans are wondering, Snoop. They're wondering, you know, so we just check it. Yeah, right right yeah, now. I did, yeah, I went back on you. Look at you. <laughs> you took me all the way back to 92. Because, <laughs> Snoop, right now you got some hardcore Snoop Dogg fans. I know. Well, I'm in front of some of them right now. They're exactly. like, hey, yeah, like yeah. what's up, Snoop Dogg? What's up, Snoop Dogg? <laughs> yeah. Lion. Lion. <laughs> <laughs> So right now, you know, we just got to make sure that all of your fans who are listening to Ivy Jam Radio, don't worry, he will not desert you, okay? He's just going to step in this reggae music thing, and he's going to keep the rap going, the reggae going, and he's going to definitely make it yeah, happen. I'm just trying to make, make a positive impression on life right now with my music, and uh, reggae music allows me a chance to do that. In hip-hop, I was always regarded as a hardcore Right. You know, MC that was, you know, banging and representing for the gangster culture, but in reggae, I want to represent for something completely different. Peace, love, and positive vibrations. Oh, yeah. You know, Snoop, That's in, what we're in, talking about. In one of, in one of your songs, Peace. Snoop, you, you mentioned that a lot of legends are respected after they die, and you want to get that respect while you live in. Yeah, and the only way to get love is to give love, and that's what I've been always doing since I've been in the rap game. I've always been able to give love to rappers that were older than me and rappers that were younger than me, and now that I'm, you know, 23 years in the rap game, they consider me Uncle Snoop. And you get the title Uncle from being a respectable young man right. to the genre that you in, and that's in the rap world. Wow. That's it's what we're all talking. all kinds of positive. Uh, and that's what we're talking about, keeping it positive and making sure that people understand that. Yeah, so we can enjoy the party, because if the it's music. positive, we can party all oh, night yeah. and we can that's do it again true. and again oh, yeah. and again. That's what it's all about, yeah. to be able to get to the party and be able to party peacefully and make it home to talk about it and do it again. That's right. Nice. Even if we got to go till 6 in the morning. Yeah. Even, I mean, 6 in yeah, the morning, as yeah, long as you yeah, stay positive. positive. That's right. You're good. I love it. All right, I got to play this song back again. Remedy, Snoop Lion, Buster Rhymes, and Chris Brown. Wicked, wicked tune. New York, New Jersey, Connecticut. Get used to it. It's Irie Jam Radio. The brand new album, Reincarnated. Check this. Irie Jam, Tondi, When it's over now, nothing left but the enemy. When the show goes down, and you silence the melody. 
Russell went back to his Jamaican heritage on that right there. Yes. Yeah. He went real deep for me. You know, he seen the movie and, you know, he's a friend of mine. When he seen the movie, he was like, Godfather, Godfather, you got to let me on the album. <laughs> I'm like, all right, bus, I got something for you. Get on, get on this bread with you. He shot it back to me real quick. And he did that. So that's one of my brothers in the in the, in the the hip-hop game who appreciates me going into the reggae field. And he's yeah. from the Jamaican, you know. Oh, yeah, definitely. So he bus, understands bus his where, family. Yeah, he understands what yeah. I'm going through. He, yeah. he gave me his blessing. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Snoop, you were in Jamaica for about two, three months. What's your favorite dish, man? What's your favorite Jamaican dish? I would have to say jerk chicken with some curry goat. And rice dipped with beans and cornbread on the tip top. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Snoop, I can conquer with the curry goat. Yeah. The curry goat, man. <laughs> no games. <laughs> Serious. Uh, <laughs> let, let me tell you. Let, let, me, let me tell Snoop, you. Snoop, you're getting a question from one of your fans. What's right up, now. baby? He wants to know what uh, part you want to uh, let him uh, ask. Ask a question. Yes, my lion. Which part of Jamaica I love the most? Kingston uh, or the country? Uh, oh man, come on, man. Kingston every time. <laughs> you don't quit playing. <laughs> Kingston every time. <laughs> Not sometime. Every time. Every time. They can go to the beach and yeah. go to my the hotel room side. and then leave. The tourist stuff. Yeah, but on this trip, I went to Tipley Gardens. I went to Trench Town. I went to the Maroons. I went to the Nyabingi Ten Temple. I went deep, you understand yeah. me? Where you ain't supposed to go is where <laughs> I went. <laughs> Yeah, and, and that's why your experience, obviously, was a different experience from the typical tourist experience. Yeah. And we respect that, because we saw the pictures. And yeah, we hear know. it in the music. Yeah, exactly. We definitely hear yeah, it in exactly. the music. It gives you a whole different perspective. Yeah, and you, once you see the movie, the movie connects the dots for you, because you see the transformation of me going in these communities, talking to these people, getting a real relationship, and you see the record begin to unfold. Songs come to life because of experiences that I'm having on screen while I'm in Jamaica. The Jamaican experience experience is what made this record. This record was made in Jamaica. Oh, wow. Not in California, not in New York, but right. in Jamaica. So what? tell us some of the, the, the actual studios that you recorded at. Uh, Strawberry Hill. Okay. We got on a Tough Gong studio. Okay, legendary. And, yes, sir. And Where then we was uh we was in the living room at somebody at somebody's uh, house, I believe, one time. <laughs> now you, you know we had it. to go ghetto. You know yeah. what I'm saying? If you don't go ghetto, it ain't right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was rapping in the bathroom, I think. <laughs> <laughs> and that makes it real. You it feel, was authentic. Yeah, yeah, you feel that realness. The toilet flush. <laughs> <laughs> quiet, quiet, quiet. Uh, well, that's why Snoop is a whole different vibe, man. When you do your thing, you've yeah. always, you've always kept it real. You've yeah. always kept it authentic. Whether it's rap, now you're doing the reggae, and we want people to just support what you're doing right now. Reincarnated is the name of the album, ladies and gentlemen. You can get it right now. Today is the actual release date, and you got to. Listen to this album from start to finish. Yep. It's a powerful it's a album. Journey. Oh yeah. It's a journey. Oh yeah. From yeah, from girl. track one to track sixteen. It's a journey. Shit, and it's a vibe. It's a vibe like you can just go to a different place. Yeah. You understand? Yeah, Every time. yeah man, a different place. With songs like these. Alright, so check this out. This one is called Rebel Way. Alright? Very, very, very serious. Check it out. It's so much death. There's so much destruction, there's so much mayhem, and there's so much misunderstanding in music. We lose so many great musicians. Snow Blyer, no guns allowed. Bless up. I must say I love that song, and with everything that's happening right now, what's the sentiments behind No Guns Allowed for you? Well, mainly all of these unnecessary you know, shootings at public venues, and then most, most recently the one in Connecticut really touched my heart with those little kids that got killed. And um, that really hurt my heart to where I wanted to make a record to stand up against the violence to help law enforcement try to, you know, rid the people of all of this type of right. madness and bring it to their attention that I do care about all of the gun violence that's going on because I feel like I helped contribute to it early on in my career. So, really? Get, oh, yeah, definitely. Because I was one to, to tote that heat and always represent it and do bang, bang with it. But I don't have no regrets. I mean, it right. is what it was. It's what I did. You learned. But, exactly. but that's, but that's, that's, that's a, again, something to be applauded, too, because I've never really heard an artist take responsibility right. for kind of, you know, glorifying or, or, or 
perpetuating yeah. a certain lifestyle. Right. See, but we, we, we don't understand that at certain points of our career, when we have power, we can either lead the dark, uh, we, can, we, we can either lead the dark or we can lead the light. Oh, yeah. And I don't mean complexion of your skin, oh, yeah. I mean the journey. Oh, yeah. And I, I believe I led a lot of blind people to the dark when yeah. I should have been leading them to the light. Yeah. And now that I'm able to understand what I do and why I do, that's why this music is what it is. I love all my old music, my Snoop Dogg music. That shit rock. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't never right. not do it on stage. I always perform it. It's just that right now I want to speak to the issues of all of this gun violence with these kids and these people that's getting shot in these public venues because I feel like my voice is powerful. And if I stand up and say that I care, oh, all yeah, this would definitely. join in and maybe we can get some laws in effect to definitely. try to make it a little bit more harder for you to get a gun because right now it's too easy to get a gun yeah. and it shouldn't be like that. Yeah, definitely. So you can talk to your friend Obama about that too, man. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully he had me come to the White House because I'm the only real nigga that ain't been invited to the White House yet. So I'm, I'm waiting on my invitation. I'm not going to ask Jay-Z to tell him to get me in. I'm just going to wait for him to call me and tell me, you can come on in. We barbecue on the day, Snoop. Come on out here to the White House. <laughs> we barbecue and we got jerk chicken, we got everything, <laughs> and we playing reggae all day. That's right. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, this one is called No, no Guns, Guns Allowed. Allowed with Drake and Corey B. That's right. Listen to the message on this one. I've ever done in my whole career, man. To have my baby girl on there with me, you know what I'm saying? My daughter on there singing. Mm -hmm. and that I've always wanted to be able to say something that, I, you know, be able to get me on any stage at any time. And that right. record right there, I'll be able to perform at the White House sometime soon. Oh, yeah, definitely. We're looking forward to seeing that, yeah, too, man. We want to see you at the White House doing that White House barbecue with Barack and Michelle. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and representing not just the hip hop, but the reggae music, too, man. Yeah, for real though because I couldn't get in there doing hip-hop but I'm gonna get in with this <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a, when I get in, I'm gonna sneak the hip hop in on them. Yeah, yeah. De definitely. Once I get in, I'm gonna go boom, 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 boom. Dumb Master Chris! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I hear DJ Roy, Roy hollering and screaming. DJ Roy, what's going on? Boom, boom. All right. I was trying to give Snoop a beat. No, 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 no. Can I can I ask one question? Yeah, man. One question. Yeah, man. Sno Snoop Lion. Yeah, man. I'm back inside the studios, and right now you've got the whole of New York City buzzing. And For here's real? the question. Here's the question I would just <laughs> ask, right? Uh -huh. Um, Irie Jamboree is one of the biggest concert events in New York City. It's a reggae concert, much like Sunfest, Sunsplash, um, Best of the Best is Miami. New York City has Irie Jamboree. It's Labor Day weekend. Mm. There's over one million Caribbean people converging on New York City. Wow. I think that you should perform. Thank you. You think I'm ready? Irie Jamboree. You it's think I'm ready? ready? Am I ready? I, I know you're ready. Yeah. Now, people in VP Records, do you want to see Snoop on Irie Jamboree? Yeah! Snoop, Woo! got nothing more to say. Dub Master Chris, take boop, it away. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> <laughs> DJ Roy. Yeah? You know, say we didn't done lick him for a one and two of them, say, rrr. I know, say, so him come, so I say, a theme 20 year anniversary to it at the business, and yeah. I'm over 20 year, and yeah. him say, rrr. Listen, listen, Snoop, some of the biggest names in reggae and dance hall music. Stephen Marley, Junior Gong, Shabba Ranks, everybody has performed on that show. This is a show that I think you should perform on. Yeah, so, uh, he, I'm gonna check my like I told my people earlier. I'm gonna check my Rolodex and my schedule, <laughs> and uh, once I get it together, I'm gonna try to make that flight out here and get it together because I do want to be a part of this jamboree, the Irish jamboree. Now you know, you know, you know, Snoop is old school. He said Rolodex. He didn't say computer. Oh he didn't no. Say no, 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 no. I got the black book, baby. <laughs> 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 you dig? 
Oh yeah. man, let me say, New York City is buzzing, Snoop. You don't know what you have done. Um, again, hats off to you for for choosing the capital of reggae music to launch the CD. Of course, VP Records, right in Jamaica Avenue. So yep. it's Jamaica away from Jamaica. This yeah. is this is the capital of the Caribbean yep. outside the Caribbean, New yeah. York City. I did my so, research. You know, I did my research. That's why I'm here. You know what I'm saying? I came to the hottest place on the planet, baby, right here, VP Records. Yeah, dig. I hear that. The master, Felicia, take it away. All right, so right now we've got only a few more minutes few left to go live on the, on the air. So we want everybody to understand that they can still make their way down here to VP Records. That's right. Buy your album, you're reincarnated, and get it signed even though we go in off air. Yeah, come get your album signed up close and personal. You get to shake hands with the president. Ah, ah, <laughs> Obama is here. Ah. <laughs> so hold on, hold on, Obama. Sit down. Hold, get back, get back. Now, Snoop. You know, you know, we gotta, we gotta ask you, man, to just kind of bless the airwaves with a little live something, something. Live, to, to live, let, let, let live, everybody around live, the tri-state live, area know live, that you know live, you live, reincarnated. Live, 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 live. I get live on the radio station for you now. Snoop lying, but they call me Bow Wow. Trying to take a picture. Hold on, I get richer in a minute. And let me spin it, because I'm in it to win it. Never faking the funk, always keeping the blunt. In my pocket, tucked so quick, so fast. Don't let that beat slip back, I grab. What up? What's some Inkabel Gray? See, that's the homie from way back in the days. We used to go to junior high together. 1984, wow. 85, 86, when I was in the mix. Tell him, Lo, I've been doing this for years. Used to make the crowd jump up and all the folks cheer. This is my homeboy. We go back. That's my homeboy, God. Real shit. What's up, man? Oh, it's not. It's for real. It's not for real. It's my homeboy. We went to school together. Oh, wow. He just happened to move back to New York. You know what I'm saying? That's where he was from. What's up, loved one? How long I been doing this freestyle? Tell him real quick. Since, since 84, 83, all of that. Way back right in up, the day. This is my homeboy from the Big Apple right here. Real love. I don't need no pictures. No, no, this is love right here. We family. We go all the way back, baby. This is my love, one. love you, boy. Give me a hug, nigga. Oh, 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 oh. That's real. Love, love, That's love. That's real. Oh, look at that, man. <laughs> Ladies and Ladies and gentlemen, it has been real. Yeah, it Snoop real. Lion live in the building. One more time, everybody inside VP Records, give Snoop Lion a big round of applause for coming out this afternoon and being here with us live in our neighborhood. Yeah, man. Every Records. time, round of applause, please, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Yeah, Snoop right. Lion in the building. We, so it's Irish Jam Radio. We gotta wrap it up. We gotta, yeah, we gotta be out. We gotta be out. But remember, come on down to VP Records. That's right. One seventy twenty one, Jamaica Avenue, Queens, New York. It's a retail superstore, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, man. Get your copy of the album Reincarnated. Reincarnated. Once again, Snoop Dogg. Thanks very much, man. Hey, man. I wouldn't be nowhere but here. You know why? Because the spirit brought me here. This is where I'm supposed to be. You know, they wanted me to be all over the world. I was being requested to be here, there, and everywhere. But I chose to be here because I knew where I was. I was at the Mecca. That's right. The Mecca. All right. So stay blessed. Big up to your whole family, Snoop. And no the wifey, success. the kids, all the children, man. And, and we want to see you perform live in New York. So we're I'm gonna talk. Yes. We're gonna talk City, and I'm make coming. that happen. I'm coming. All right. I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> I reach and radio, rocks the most on the coast. Is a toast to the book, and you know who you rockin' with? Snoop D O Double G, aka Snoop Lion, top selector number one. DJ, play my favorite rap. Yeah, my Big up DJ Roy, dub master. Every time on the ones and the two. Felicia Love, get it, girl. Wind it up. Rewind! <laughs> <laughs>